December 13, 2006, ladies and gentlemen, at approximately 6.30 a.m., all police received a 911 call. This call came from the defendant's husband, Michael Riley. He reported that his four-year-old daughter, Rebecca, was dead. Ladies and gentlemen, the person responsible for this little girl's death is sitting in the courtroom with us today. She was a lot of work. She describes her little girl as violent, aggressive, vicious, even to the point of telling teachers that she had been attacked by this little girl. Puts her on these drugs. You're going to hear evidence from multiple witnesses who knew Rebecca and her older sister, saw them both around this time frame, and they're going to tell you that not only did she not act anyway close to the way her mother described her, but that she was a sweet little girl who exhibited absolutely no problem. Bathroom by herself or even pull up her own pants, and that her teachers in her class had to sit behind her in the chair to make sure she didn't fall over. She was so weak she had to be helped off the bus and helped upstairs. She couldn't play, she couldn't go to gym, she couldn't contribute to class, she couldn't do anything because she was so drugged up that she just stood in days all day long. Spoke to the teachers. The teachers will tell you she wasn't crying, she had a completely flat affect, she had different. They just wanted Rebecca's things. And as they left that school, the day their little girl died, the principal's going to tell you she looked out the window and she saw the defendant and her husband joking and laughing. That her husband took his cowboy hat off, put it on her head, he gave her a playful shove, and she was laughing. 